Today we are going to learn how to locate root 2, root 3 and root 5 on number line. First we can learn how to locate root 2 on number line. Square root of 2 on number line. First we can draw a number line by using scale and pencil we can draw a number line. And here we can locate 0 here. Left side we can locate 0. And uh, for our convenience we can take 1 unit equal to 3 centimeter. If you take 1 unit equal to 1 centimeter the figure will be very small so it may be uh, difficult to locate the point so we can take one centimeter one unit equal to three centimeter so here we can write one then two three etc so here zero then one then two then three so we are going to locate root 2, square root of 2 on number line. <coughs> so when we locate square root of 2 on number line, we have to construct a right triangle. A right triangle of base. Right triangle of base, 1 unit and the height, 1 unit. Suppose A, B, C is a right triangle whose base is 1 unit and height 1 unit when we apply Pythagoras theorem AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square so that is AB square here 1 square plus 1 square 1 square plus 1 square that is uh, uh, 2 AC square is equal to 2 therefore AC is equal to square root of 2 so when we construct a right triangle of base 1 unit and height 1 unit then the hypotenuse the length of the hypotenuse is root 2 units by applying Pythagoras theorem we can easily calculate the length of the hypotenuse that will be root 2 uh, units so here also we are going to construct a right triangle uh, whose base is 1 unit and height 1 unit so when we construct a right triangle of base 1 unit so here we can take base 1 unit. So here we have to make a perpendicular. Right angle we will make at 1. So we can take any radius. We will draw an arc. We will draw a semicircle. Then we are going to uh, draw perpendicular at this point. So here one semicircle of any radius. Then same radius. Perpendicular you land half how to construct a perpendicular in lower class then again cutting so now we got a perpendicular we can join them so now we got a perpendicular and here we need to construct a right triangle of base 1 unit and height 1 unit. So here 1 unit in this construction 1 unit is equal to 3 centimeter. So we can take that 1 unit in compass. This is 1 unit actually it is 3 centimeter. Then the height of the right triangle should be 1 unit. So we can uh, cut 1 unit here. This is 1 unit then join them when we join these two points we get a right triangle and here in this right triangle the base is one unit and height is one unit so when we apply Pythagoras theorem the hypotenuse will be root 2 units so this distance is root 2 units now we need to locate that root 2 on number line so this is the number line 
so we can take that distance root 2 in compass we can take that distance uh, root 2 this is root 2 distance now we can draw an arc of length root 2 so that arc will intersect the uh, number line at this point so here uh, this distance this is an uh, this distance is root 2 units and here we made an uh, um, arc of radius root 2 units so if it is root 2 here then this distance will be root 2 so here it is root 2 so uh, here also root 2 units so we can write root 2 there so this is root 2 so now we located root 2 on number line and similarly uh, we can locate root 3 on number line so if we want to locate root 3 on number line we can do the calculation here uh, root 3 if we want to locate a root 3 on number line we have to make a right triangle we need to construct a right triangle of base root 2 units and height 1 unit a b c because when we apply Pythagoras theorem here uh, a c is equal to or a c square equal to a b square plus b c square so b c square is root 2 square plus a b square is 1 square so root 2 square is 2 plus 1 square is 1 so 2 plus 1 3 that is a c square is equal to 3 therefore a c is equal to square root of 3 so when we construct a right triangle whose base is root 2 units and height 1 unit then the hypotenuse will be root 3 units so here also we are going to draw a uh, number line and we will construct a right triangle uh, with base root 2 units and height 1 unit so number line we will draw number line and here also we can take 1 unit is equal to 3 centimeter so we can locate 0 here then 1 unit equal to 3 centimeter we can take so here first 1 then here 2 and here 3 so 1 2 and 3 now the base of the right triangle should be root 2 units and height 1 unit so first we need to uh, locate root 2 on this number line so we already learned how to locate root 2 on number line so the same procedure we will apply here so here we have uh, taken the uh, perpendicular we can draw a perpendicular at this point so here any radius we can make one semicircle we can draw one semicircle then same radius we will cut first arc then we can keep here second arc then again third cutting then fourth cutting so now we got perpendicular we got the perpendicular and here uh, height uh, root 2 first we have to locate a root 2 so take the distance 1 unit so here 1 unit then join them this point and 0 so here 1 unit this is also 1 unit therefore this is root 2 units here 1 unit 1 unit 
and here also one unit one unit now we have to locate a root to one number line take this distance this distance is root 2 so we can locate root 2 so now we located a root 2 on number line our question is locate a root 3 on number line here we are going to locate a root 3 on number line first we located a root 2 on number line and here we need to construct a right triangle whose base is root 2 units and height 1 unit so we will construct a right triangle with the base root 2 units that means here we will draw a perpendicular and height 1 unit we will get another right triangle then that hypotenuse will be root 3 units so we can draw a we can construct a right triangle at root 2 so any radius we will draw a semicircle then same radius first cutting then keep the compass here second cutting then third cutting then fourth so now we will get a, a perpendicular at this point root 2 so this is the perpendicular now we can uh, construct a right triangle whose uh, base is root 2 units and height 1 unit so the height of this right triangle should be 1 unit so here this distance is 1 unit this is also 1 unit so the height of the triangle should be 1 unit we can cut so the heights this height and this height should be same now we will join them Now we got a right triangle, its base is root 2 units and height 1 unit. So we can easily calculate its hypotenuse. We already done the calculation here. The hypotenuse will be root 3 units. This distance will be root 3 units. So we can take the distance in the compass. So this is the length of the hypotenuse of that right triangle that is root 3 units. Now we are going to locate that root 3 on number line so that point this point is root 3 so if we want to locate a root 3 on number line first we have to locate root 2 then we will locate root 3 the heights of the triangles should be same here one unit one unit and in first triangle base is one unit height also one unit but in second triangle base root 2 units and height 1 unit. So this is the location of root 3 on number line and the first one is root 2 on number line. Now we are going to learn how to locate root 5 on number line. Locating square root of 5 on number line same procedure we will draw a number line and here root 5 on number line so when we construct a right triangle the hypotenuse should be root 5 so if the hypotenuse we want to get the hypotenuse root 5 by applying Pythagoras theorem base square plus height square should be root 5 so if you want to get a root 5 in a hypotenuse the base should be 2 units <clears throat> and height should be 1 unit so in triangle ABC when we apply Pythagoras theorem AC is equal to uh, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Hypotenuse square is equal to AB square 
plus bc square so ab square that is 1 square plus root uh, 2 square so 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 so 1 plus 4 that is 5 so ac square is 5 therefore ac is equal to square root of 5 so uh, for locating root 5 we need to construct a right triangle uh, its base 2 units and height 1 unit so when we do this question in exam this calculation is not important no? that calculation we always do in our mind so here we are going to construct a right triangle uh, whose base is 2 units and height 1 unit so here same way locate 0 and we can take 1 unit equal to 3 centimeter so here first point second point and then third so this is 1 2 and 3 now we are going to uh, base should be 2 units so we will draw a right triangle at this point so same procedure in previous questions done any radius we can take then we will draw an arc semicircle we will draw then same radius first cutting then second cutting then third cutting then fourth cutting now we can join them now we got a perpendicular and here the height of the triangle should be one unit so we will take one unit here one unit means uh, we have one unit equal to three centimeters so one unit is three centimeters so we got one unit in compass then we will cut one unit this is one unit then we will join them So now we got a right triangle whose base is uh, 2 units and height 1 unit. So when we apply Pythagoras theorem, the length of the hypotenuse will be root 5, root 5 units. Now we can take that distance in, in the compass. So this is root 5 units. Now we can draw an arc. So here root 5 we located on number line. So root 5 located here base of the triangle 2 units and height 1 unit and we located root 5 on number line. Now we are going to uh, learn how to visualize decimals on number line how to visualize decimals on number line uh, similarly if you want to locate a root 11 on number line suppose we need to locate a square root of 11 on number line if you want to locate a square root of 11 on number line you just think about a right triangle the hypotenuse should be 11 units means the square root of 11 so if you want to get the square root of 11 here the base if you take a 3 3 square 9 and 2 square 2 square 4 9 plus 4 uh, sorry uh, that is a square root of 13 we can look if you want to locate the square root of 13 on number line we can uh, take a base 
3 units and height 2 units because 3 square plus 2 square. 3 square is 9, 2 square 4, then that is 13. So the hypotenuse will be square root of 13. So square root of 13 we can do by uh, taking the base as 3 units and uh, height as 2 units. And uh, number line we will draw. And uh, uh, we can draw the perpendicular at 3. Then the height we can take as 2 units, join them, the same procedure. Then we can easily locate a square root of uh, 13 on number line. Now we are going to learn how to visualize decimal on number line. We can do one question from uh, three point NCRT book 3.765 on number line. 3.765 on number line. So here if you want to visualize 3.765 on number line, first we can draw a number line. And here we can take uh, 1 unit equal to 1 centimeter. We can take 1 unit is equal to 1 centimeter. We can take. So here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, etc. It's going on. And here 3.765. 3.765 that is in between 3 and 4. 3.765 that is in between 3 and 4. The, this number lies between 3 and 4. Now we are going to highlight. Uh, this area 3 to 4 so we are going to highlight this portion 3 to 4 uh, in between 3 and 4 we have uh, 10 small divisions that part we are going to highlight so we will draw the number line again and here we are going to uh, highlight uh, this uh, portion 3 to 4 so here we can write a uh, 3 then 3 to 4 we will divide into 10 equal parts 3.1 3.2 3.3 etc so first part second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth then tenth so here this will be 3 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, then 4. So now we highlighted uh, uh, 3 to 4 here. 3, 4 and divided into uh, 3 to 4 we divided into 10 equal parts and 3.1, 3.2, 3.3 etc. Our number is 3.765. So that is in between. Uh, so now 3 to 4 we are highlighting. So we will draw uh, 3 to 4. 3 to 4. Now we are going to 3.765 lies between 3.7 and 3.8. 3.765 3.765 lies between 3.7 and 3.8 so now we are going to highlight this area 3.7 to 3.8 again we will divide it into 10 equal parts so we will highlight uh, that part of the number line 3.7 to 3.8 so this one 3.7 
3 power 7. We can divide it into 10 equal parts. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, ninth, then three point seven, then this is three point eight. So three point seven to three point eight we are highlighting. Three point seven to three point eight. And here uh, three point seven. First point is three point seven one, three point seven two, three point seven three, three point seven four, three point seven five, three point seven six, three point seven seven, three point seven eight, three point seven nine. So we highlighted uh, uh, that part of the number line 3.7 to 3.8. Now again go back to that number 3.765. 3.765 that is in between 3.76 and 3.77. 3.765 lies between 3.76 and 3.77. So now we are going to highlight this part of this number line. Again we will draw number line. And here we are going to highlight 3.76 to 3.77. So here we can write 3.76. 3.76. We can divide it into 10 equal parts. So the first point that is 3 point, we are going to highlight, this is 3.76, we are going to highlight 3.76 to 3 3.77. 3.76 to 3.77. And here, this is 3 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76 3.76
two six etc. It's going on. So we need to visualize up to four decimal places. So up to four decimal places means uh, here four decimal places we will take. So four point two six two six. So we need to locate a four point two six two six on number line. The same way we can locate. First we will draw a number line. Then four point two six two six lies between four and five. So we will highlight four and five here. Then again we will divide four point two one four four point one four point two four point three etc. Then four point two to four point three we will highlight. Then four point two six two four point two seven we will highlight etc. And here we have four decimal places. So we may get one more line here. Five lines we will get. Here we have three decimal places. So we got four lines. But here we have four decimal places. So we will get five lines. And in the fifth line, we will get this number four point two six two six. Okay. Thank you.